Hello, my name is Aaron Olson, and today I am reviewing a shoe by Carson Footwear. And I will be posting this to my YouTube channel as well as my podcast, Paleo Runner. And if you're listening to the audio only, um, I will be posting pictures along with this. So if you're listening on an iPhone or an iPad, you'll be able to see the pictures uh, playing along with the audio. And if you're interested in subscribing to the video feed, um, I now will be posting videos to Paleo Runner Podcast as well. And today I'm reviewing a shoe. Um, this is by Carson Footwear, and I'll give you a look at it. It's a low-profile minimalist shoe. Um, it's uh, The claim is that it'll provide some protection and cushioning um, without affecting your running stride. And... Um, uh, other minimalist shoes like the Vivram Five Fingers and things like that um, have done a, a nice job of providing a natural ride and a natural feel for running, but they don't have a lot of protection for um, sort of uh, rocks or gnarly trails and things like that. And uh, Carson Footwear developed this shoe because he wanted a, a minimalist or a natural uh, running style without uh, having to sacrifice the cushioning that comes with a more traditional shoe. So if you'll see, if you'll take a look at this shoe, it's got a low profile, but the, the cushioning here is made with something called polyurethane, which allows it to have uh, a lot of shock absorption uh, with a more minimal flat profile. And I'm gonna be testing out these shoes today on a four mile run over some trails, um, not too technical trails and on the asphalt, and just seeing how they feel, seeing if I, after stepping on some sharp rocks and things like that, if they actually hold up to the claim of providing protection without affecting your running style. So far, I can tell you that the shoes feel really nice. They have a nice sock upper, uh, sock-like upper. Uh, it really uh, hugs your foot well. But uh, I've got to test it out on the run, and I'll get back to you at the end of this review. All right, I just got done with my run testing out these Carson Footwear Iguana Racer. And uh, what I found out is that uh, I actually really like this shoe. I was very uh, pleasantly surprised. Um, it, it actually lives up to the claim of having protection on your minimal protection while still not affecting your foot strike, uh, at least not affecting it much, very minimally, and uh, making it feel like you're still using that natural barefoot uh, type of stride. Um, so as you can see here, some of the some of the things about this shoe, um, you'll see that there's like a little arch thing right here, but that is actually, um, there's actually nothing there. It's just, it's just part of the design. It actually doesn't go up and support your arch, which is a good thing if you're looking for a minimalist shoe. Um, another uh, nice feature about these is that there's no um, sturdy heel counter. So a lot of shoes will put like a cardboard or a plastic piece back there and uh, to help it keep its shape. But this really is more of a sock-like upper, and so it really hugs your foot and feels very comfortable like a sock would. Whereas if you compare it to another uh, minimalist shoe, this is called the Topo uh, Flylight, they use a stiff uh, cardboard or plastic piece in the heel, and that gives it more rigidity, um, and it, it gives the shoe more structure, but it also makes everything stiffer. And on the Carson footwear, the, there's nothing stiff on the upper. Even the toe, the toe box area, there's just some uh, leathery plastic piece that uh, is very soft. Um, so I really enjoyed this shoe. I felt like it, it lived up to its claim of, of providing protection without correcting anything. And that's what I'm always looking for in a piece of footwear. It's kind of that Goldilocks uh, principle where you want something that's going to allow you to run in a barefoot natural style. But out on the trails and uh, on the road, when you come across rocks and things, if you're wearing something extremely minimal like this Vibram Five Fingers, you're gonna, you're gonna, you could have problems. Um, if you come across sharp rocks on a trail, you really feel them, especially if you hit it in the flex grooves. Um, you can get some uh, foot bruising if you're not careful. Whereas something like this allows you to run a little bit more free. Um, this polyurethane midsole uh, does a really nice job of uh, dispersing uh, the, the shock from like rocks and things like that. Um, whereas the EVA midsole like this is more squishy, um, doesn't, uh, it's not going to provide as much disbursement 
it sort of uh, uh, absorbs around the, sh the racks and things like that. Whereas this seems to provide more of like a plated protection. Um, and it, it's extremely fl flexible um, for the amount of protection it provides. I mean, this is, this is not taking very much strength at all to bend the shoe like this. Whereas um, something sort of similar made out of EVA, uh, this is Topo, it's, it's taking quite a bit of strength to bend the shoe. And then you've got something really uber minimal that takes no, almost no effort at all, like the Vibram Five Fingers. And I love the Five Fingers, but they're not always the great for really long runs. My feet will tend to get tired. And uh, if, if I'm on a trail with a lot of rocks, um, it's not the best option. So um, I wanted to show you a little bit about their liner. And a, another piece of minimalist footwear that you want to look for is something that's actually anatomically shaped like your foot. And I've got the Vibram Five Fingers insole here, and so we can compare it to something that's actually very much anatomically shaped, a Vibram Five Fingers insole, and compare it to what uh, Carson Footwear did. And a lot of uh, footbeds, they'll, they won't match the, uh, uh, the Five Fingers insole at all, but this actually comes pretty close. And you can see how close they are, how much it's shaped like a foot by how well it matches this footbed and I found that it felt very comfortable. It wasn't uh, cramming my toes at all, like a lot of shoes do. Um, so it, it, it's it's true to that natural uh, anatomical foot shape. And I'll just put it on the back here so you can see as well. Maybe you can see against the green a little better. It's very, very close, not an exact match, but uh, still very close. And then you can see on the back here, there's a little bit of the pinky toe hanging off, but not much. So, I'm really happy with the shoe so far. I'm looking, obviously I need to test it out more. I took it out on a trail that uh, and, and that had some asphalt, it had some rocks, it had some roots, it had some grass, things like that. Um, the shoe, I put it on my scale, it weighs nine and a half ounces. Um, something like the Vibram Five Finger is only four and a half ounces. So there's a weight difference there. But if you go with something more, a little bit more traditional, this Topo Athletic, uh, shoe here is nine nine ounces so it's 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 in range uh of what most uh, a lot of minimalist shoes are, are running um but a little bit on the heavier side but i think it's a good trade-off if you're gonna want if you want some extra protection so uh that's my review of this carson footwear um so far i liked it and i'll keep you updated uh on the durability and things like that